Ready to see what Tan gave us? I hear it's something special. Pathfinder en route. How's the ship? And final checks looking great. We won't be long. The way things are going, we'll be I just alone. love it when those two are alone together. No words, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> we used to call that tactical improvisation. But at least we'll be doing it in style. Okay, now we see the real Citadel part. Her the Tempest. The Tempest. Okay, that looks a lot like the Normandy. I mean, look at it. It looks a lot like the Normandy. Even the music is the same. Now look, everyone's having a nerdgasm while watching it. Let's go take a closer look. Let's pick it up a bit, people. We're 14 months late. Hmm. <laughs> So you're the one who's making everything happen. Vetra. Vetra Nix. Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. Are we ready? The sooner we get out of here, the better. You're coming with us? Yes. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting this ship off the stage. Yeah. Let's go see the rest of Helios. Hold it, hold it! You're not going anywhere. Damn it. Is something wrong? Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Seen you around. Ben, right? Came here with the family, didn't you? Son still in cryo? I could pull some strings, get him to the front of the Yeah, the old switcheroo. Really? Yeah, really. Even 800 years into the future, they'll still I be using that. Essential, but I miss him. I know. I got family too, Ben. It's done. <sighs> Addison's gonna kill me. Well, considering how Addison is, I think she might literally do that. Sec, I thought I was gonna have to deal with Addison again. <laughs> and no one wants that. All things considered, it was an easy ask. And right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. Finally, someone who cares about doing stuff and not just talking about it. Everything state-of-the-art. Labs, sensors, exploration gear. Lesser crew, of course. The best in their field. Glad to see you're doing so well, Scott. The engine core is based on the Ark's Odyssey drive. It runs a hell of a lot quieter. That's Gil Brody. Engineer, mechanic, all-around wrench jockey. We call this the research room. There's space for upgrading equipment, gathering intel. Router engaged. Securing connection to Tempest. Welcome aboard, Sam. And Ryder. Yes! Yes! An Irish woman. Yes! Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to make these gay noises, but... Yes! stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. Every plan the initiative made is out the window. Now it's on us to find the way. We all came here ready for a challenge. When you're ready to fly, head over to the bridge. Our pilot should have everything good to go.
Better head to the bridge when we're ready to go. We call this the research room. You can run research projects and coordinate with the Nexus from here. Ooh, the way he just goes flying. <laughs> well, they should have put that in the original Mass Effect. What's up, Liam? Serious kit over here. Seems like we're forever racing. But there's always time to check out new toys. Useful ones. Always game for new toys. This makes use of old ones. Like anything you grabbed on Habitat 7. Raw minerals, tech, doesn't matter. The research station will strip that stuff down and give you options. I'll take any advantage I can get, even if it's exploring junk. Hey, with tech like this, it won't be junk for long. Not after we're through. If the best we get is what we make, still the best. Check it out. Okay. Okay, where is everyone? Tech lab is an engineer's dream. It's perfect for any delicate technical work. Just like Commander Shepard, I'd like to know my crew. Departure trajectory locked, Nexus Control. Ah, time for introductions. You must be Ryder, Gallo Jav. A pleasure to be here, and to meet you, of course. I'll be piloting the Tempest at your word. Quite the ship, but it'll take a Pathfinder's guidance to see us through Helios. Plenty of dangers out there, but I'll do my best to avoid them. That's reassuring. Wouldn't want to lose my finest work to that angry cloud. I was test pilot for the Tempest's early prototypes. I admit, I'm itching to see how she performs out here. So how do I... The console syncs with your implant. Just swipe, touch a destination here, and the nav system calculates everything. Very efficient. It was optimized for a Pathfinder. Everything's secure, if you're ready. Is anyone ready for something this big? I guess we have to be. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Command access is transferring successfully. Uh, science and monitoring stations look fine. Lexi's reporting in. Helm is green. Gill reports the drive core is online. This is it, Ryder. The Tempest is yours. Unless you've got something to say for the log. We were all expecting a golden world. Now there's just a long road ahead. But hold on to that dream. It might see us through. Nexus Control, this is the Tempest. Ident 2527, prepping to depart. Okay, time to leave. Uh... Bye, people. Wish us luck. <laughs> Departure vector verified, Tempest. Godspeed, Pathfinder. Well, there we go. 
Habitat One. Two failed outposts put an end to that idea. Maybe we can turn things around. Callow, take us in. So this is just like the Milky Way map in the original Mass Effect. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. Or in this case, all throughout the galaxy. Okay, before anything, let me see the other planets. Maybe there's something useful there. System, Pythias. Andromeda Initiative Habitat 1. Designated Eos. It was supposed to be an easy first step. Until no one else showed, and we got clobbered. Twice. Why has Sam altered frequency detection? What are we hearing, Sam? There is a signal, Pathfinder. I recommend an immediate examination of EOS. Literally nothing here. It's like a lava world. Like that level from Infinite Warfare. Wait, how do I zoom out? Oh. Well, I see that unlike Commander Shepard, Ryder has a much larger screen. But how do I get out of here? Ah, there we go. Anomaly detected. Where? Is it that thing? Let's check it out. This is like some really weird galaxy. I mean, the idea of humans surviving here is just unimaginable. So now we have Saturn. Like, there's literally nothing here. It's like a smooth surface. I mean, you, you could play ball with that. Well, I guess it's time to go to EOS and see what's what. Like Habitat 7. No doubt we'll run into the cat. So what's that over there? Aha. Uh -huh. Wait, there's just sand and snow. Crap. Hey, it's not what I wanted. Oh, for f there we go. That's more like it. Suiting up. 
Ready, Freddy? Hope we're all that ready. Callo. All right? Integrating search area from Sam. How he pulled that mystery signal through the storms, I have no idea. Multisensory neural collision. Amazing. No, I just Find love the Irish accent. The especially when women do it. Mm. You're already tuning the displays. We'll get a better read on this past than the Nexus has had in months. What? I said a lot of people have their hopes pinned on us. Okay, you just they came out of moves. nowhere. Like, literally just came out of nowhere. Expected a golden world, instead they saw their friends die. Never know how that'll affect. Yeah, that's really reassuring, Liam. Uh, sorry. You okay? I think I'm still messed up by what happened with my dad. There hasn't been much time to process it. No. I mean, I think I'm still feeling it. Like... Hearing things. Other than Sam. Pathfinder, the Tempest checks out. We're good. Take us down. You have no idea how long I've wanted a Pathfinder to say that. You're the leader, you're supposed to be confident. Help. The place looks like Arizona. There. Sit us down at this nav. I mean the desert and the cliffs. I wonder if we can build a new Phoenix out here. Even show its name. <laughs> Look at the way Ryder is mesmerized. How's he even stop? Reports state this planet suffers deadly storms that are contaminated by radiation from the Scourge. EO's deployment was incomplete due to environmental hazards and ultimately hostile encounters. Plus, no Pathfinder. If EOS is like Habitat 7, that signal we scanned must be connected with the atmosphere. We could use the outpost's antenna to track it down. Door's getting emergency power, but it's code locked. Site 1 issued individual security codes. Each outpost self-organizes and sets its own protocol. Just say we can't open it without codes. We can't open it without codes. <laughs> I see they Sam has a sense of humor just like Edie. They didn't have a pathfinder. The they do now. We'll make Eos a home. Well, first of all, is there food here that we can eat? That's the number one thing. Is there any water? And on top of that, is there any safe drinking water? Got a code lock key. Gives us access if we need it. So I'm seeing they're without helmets, so there's oxygen on this planet. Like oxygen that isn't toxic. I guess God wanted us to travel the universe. No one here? I 
I got a partial log, but I can't turn on the antenna. Something's blocking the power. A remote lock is active. The interference originates from a nearby power relay tower. So we're not the only ones interested in what happened here. Let's check out this relay tower. So where am I supposed to go? Ah, the compass is up there. Hmm, so, um... Our suits protect against that there was a nuclear war. Site 1 contains shield masts to dampen the brunt of contamination. But if we went outside Site 1's perimeter? That would not be advised. So, we've already lost Eos. Damn it. Structure up ahead. Sam? It fits the profile of a power relay station, Pathfinder. Right. We get it running, maybe buildings get power. And we get a line on that signal. Okay, I noticed that there's, um... There has been any action in two videos. Well, we don't have a lot of time right now, but don't you worry. The next video is going to show it. There are people here? We thought everyone left was gone. Of course you did. Now shove off. Find your own salvage. This spot's taken. I'm not a salvager. I'm a pathfinder. We've come to fix all this. Call me Clancy. Pathfinder, huh? Like that changes much. The Nexus just can't let Eos go, can it? However much it fails down here. I'm tracking a signal that will help EOS. I only need power for the antenna. Look, I cut the power for a reason. The Ket are patrolling today. You turn the power relay back on, they'll know there's a juicy target alive down here. Help me with the power relay, and I'll take care of the Ket. You're crazy. Though maybe it's a good crazy. Okay, I'll enable the generators out there. You want to poke the tiger, it's on you. <laughs> 